I wouldn't say it's your mistake as it was her mistake but a bit of your mistake so it's a bit of both yeah, of us yeah, here. together okay good so then you push and I think you do it again like same thing here Q and then E true 39 damage Ugh. Ugh. 39 damage after, so, after. so you're using 80 mana for 39 damage so be very careful with this QE one you shouldn't use your QE like this through the minions if possible you should try to angle it towards her two yeah you should look to waste so much mana 80 mana for this low damage only if she's already low if she's this hp i'll do it because 30 okay. damage is a lot yeah, but yeah, yeah. now it's like mm, it doesn't matter it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter. Yeah, yeah. and look, look at your mana matter. right now look at your mana what's going on guys besides here and into this video we will learn how to play and carry on ad carry properly by the end of this video, you will improve your wave management, recall timings and macro significantly. So you can also use these tips no matter what you rank it. For those of you who don't know, I'm a League of Legends coach and I help people to get better in League of Legends. So if you want to improve hard and guaranteed, make sure you subscribe, like and hit the notification bell. Do not miss out any of the bit of the content from the channel. Your Twitch, what the heck? You are so cracked. Okay. I am there. You can see uh, my screen uh, on yeah, Discord, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. So, let me see where I push, put the mistakes. Okay, so we have some things actually. Okay, so you go for the leash here, short leash. Uh, did you think to actually ask her to not go for a leash? Not go for a leash? Yeah, like do you ever ask your jungle, hey, Yeah, please, yeah, 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 I... of course, when enemy that's have good. like uh, two Perfect. long rage and I am playing yes. like, you know, yes. two short slants. That's... That's, the, that's the answer that I was looking for. Yeah, 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 that's always I am doing this because it's hard to play. Yeah. Level one this. Good, so you go on the lane, you try to push, this is very good. This is very good the way you played it. You look to use a Q, this is very, very nice. This is perfect, this is very good. You push, you use your Q on the wave, you stay max range with the minions, try to push as fast as possible, and then you try to go to get level 2. You get level 2 right here, and then you use, let's see what you're gonna do. You do looking to slow push, which is very good. This is super good. Now you're looking to slow push, you're looking to Q and then E. Okay, what does this Q and E do here? I just poke, but when, when, when I just miss it, uh, we lost pressure. And I just can go in, I think. Exactly. So then, looking back at it right now, what should you be doing right here with the QE? Yeah, uh, wave. Like, what you should do here is simply you should stay here and then put your feather like this mm -hmm. one, feather like this two, feather like this three. And you should just wait, Vayne, to go into your feathers. And then you should QE her when you have multiple feathers here. Yeah, 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 that's right. So, because if you just QE &E like this, one, it's low reward. Because, okay, you can chunk her, but I mean, now you don't have pressure. And two, if you get ganked at this exact time, you don't have feather. So be very careful if you're using this QE and you're wasting your pressure because every time when you use your QE, you're wasting your pressure. So unless you know that you can chunk her significant enough so it can matter, it's better to ke keep your E, just stack feathers on the wave and then just drag your E. Okay. Because here, look how much pressure Vayne got. Like look at this tumble, for example. Vayne should never be able to do this if you have EC. And the poor guy, Olulu, should be this HP, which is huge. So yeah, this okay. was, I wouldn't say it's your mistake, as it was her mistake, but a bit of your mistake. So it's a bit of both yeah, of us yeah, here. together. Okay, good. So then you push, and I think you do it again. Like, same thing here. Q and then E. True. 39 damage. Ugh. Ugh. 39 damage. After, so you, after. so you, you're using 80 mana for 39 damage. So be very careful with this QE. One, you shouldn't use your QE like this through the minions if possible you should try to angle it towards her two yeah you should look to waste so much mana 80 mana for this low damage only if she's already low if she's this hp i'll do it because 30 okay. damage is a lot yeah, but yeah, yeah. now it's like mm, it doesn't matter it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter. Yeah, yeah. and look, look at your mana matter. right now look at your mana it's like oh why did i do it and then now they can gauge imagine if he had your e then he tried yeah, to go. Bad. That was my bad for sure. And let's see it right here as well. With the feathers. So let's see. So you Q, you Q. What should you do right now? After the Q. Um, e? <laughs> yeah, right now. Because you see what you're doing here? Yeah, I was trying to stack as much as I could. Okay. And looking back at it right now. 
after yeah, you kill the Janna. You can eat here. I don't, yeah, 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 onto one basic her. Then mm, she's dead, right. and then you can kite into the wave because you have a huge, huge wave. wave. Huge wave, yeah. So then you can play Casino, like, okay, but I wanna, I wanna stack. Well, true, but if the Janna was a human, she would just back off right now. Because right here, she wanted to follow. So if you eat right now, she can't react. Mm -hmm. Because she just went like this now. Yeah, so I should instantly. I should, should instantly. instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, see yeah. that now. Very important. Because now you should not die. And then he just tried to play with the brush, which is nice. Nice try. Uh, but yeah, so this is basically a bit of uh, too much QE on the way. Well, on the vein, but like it's not bad to QE. It's bad to QE like you do for no damage and you're just wasting your mm -hmm. pressure. Plus mechanics on the E. Like some mechanics on the E, no problem. And then 4 0 0. Okay, how is the wave right now? It's slow pushing to us. True. What should you be doing right now in the next 30 seconds? Pushing because Vayne wanna back and you know when I will pushing, she will just lost minions under the wave, uh, under the tower. Okay, so if the wave is slow pushing into you right now, or I can just freeze. Okay, so she's gonna lose. Okay, so she's gonna lose minions anyways. So what is better here? Freeze, I think, because I will be safe. True. So. Yes, in like one, it matters like the jungle will tell you if, if you should do that or two, how much power you have for the push. Because if you know that you can push this wave so you can easily get plates, I will yep. do it. I will do it. But that is usually Noon Quiver pickaxe or something or like Noon Quiver recurve bow or Noon Quiver. Like... Yeah, yeah, with so much push. Because yeah. now level two. Hmm. I don't know how much push, I mean, I know how much push power you have. You have some push power, but you can't say, okay, I'm going to one shot the wave. Well, it's a bit hard to one shot the wave here. So this is why here, freeze the wave. You don't need to risk it pushing. And then Vayne is going to recall here. You just woke up and you stop her. Mm -hmm. Because right now, look what did it. You try to push. But the, and this QE, by the way, was the first QE that was good. Because if you hit her, she's almost dead. Yeah. Because what's the worst case scenario here if you're pushing this? Morda will just stop. Exactly. He will just come. But if you freeze, he's always, almost always gonna lose the minions. Mordekaiser has to maybe come here and help push or something, but it's very hard. So in this case, you see you got the plate, but it wasn't really a safe play. It was a play that on UNE it will work one time, but next game it will kill you. Yeah, yeah. So be very careful with this wave management. So it was more about... Uh, uh, we died slow. Okay, the wave is slow pushing into us, and vein is one HP. And instead of freezing, we just pushed hard, which was bad. Solution is oh, always look to freeze because it's safe, unless it's so easy. It's easy to get plates. And you have a lot of wave clear. In that case, break the freeze. Sure, in that case, break the freeze. In this case, it was a bit greedy. Okay. Next, 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 next. 800. Okay, this recall we talked about it. You were a bit crazy with the. the <laughs> that position. was crazy yeah, because I was trying to bait for Lulu. Yeah, like yeah. here. Oh. Let's see this play. Okay, this was... Uh, okay, so what do you think about this play? Oh, fucking awful. <laughs> like here I, you have I a freeze. I was thinking like, okay, they, they are uh, like fighting, but I need to take this wave. So I, sh I should maybe fast push and join them and make uh, Vayne lose some CS, I think. But uh, because I have items to push. Mm -hmm. So oh, I should push just faster and join them because I was like, okay, I'm going in, then I just back to wave, and uh, I was trying again to go in and back to wave, harm it. Uh, I don't know. It was like so, I should do just you know. So what if you're gonna try to push like right now, and then Lulu is gonna start a fight, like she did. Like let's say you're gonna try to push right here. Like what are you yeah. trying to do right here with the wave? Hmm. Yeah, if I just go and, you know, W, E, Q, it's gonna push to them and they will need to stay under tower and farm it or they will just lose CS. So right right here, what are you trying to do in this position with the wave? Ah, what I was trying. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's hard to say because I was thinking like uh, should I join or not I think I was trying to probably um, freeze it I think true true so what does Lulu do right now fighting okay so what can you do with the wave uh, I'll just push it I join or just keep freeze and don't give a fuck so if she's That's... fighting right now and you push it really or fast right now what is gonna happen Mm, if I push it, yeah, I can join the fight with without losing CS. I think. Okay, but right, she needs help right now. Like if you push yeah. right now, that she's gonna die. Yeah. Okay, but so, if I just, but if I just go, I will lose like two waves. That was I was thinking. If you go, like where where to go? Uh, um, into Lulu. Just because... you know. Where do you need to go if you want to follow this fight? Let's see, because right now it's like this. So where do you have to go if you want to find follow this fight? Uh, I should go around, yeah. You go like this, you mean? Yeah, maybe. Or like... So Because if I go down, I have minions. If they just go on me with Vayne and Janna, I can fight. But the minions, are not gonna, the minions are not going to instantly focus you unless your minions die. It will take yeah, a while but... because you see we have some minions. So first of all, if you push right now, and Lulu is gonna fight in the meantime. How does that feel? Mm. That would be bad because you're just yeah you push the wave, but first of all you're probably not gonna crash and even if you crash, Vayne can just return what? after the kill, and Lulu is just gonna die. So you you need to help her now. So you can look to hover her a little bit, stay around here, look at the wave and look at the fight. If the fight can give you a free kill. Or if it's a big urgency and you might actually uh, kill someone there, you can give three to five minions for a kill, especially because Vayne is around. Uh, Vi, sorry. Vi, yeah. But if you're gonna stay here and you see Lulu is really low HP, then you should just have look go back to the wave because it's safer. So in this place, since she's fighting, you shouldn't be scared to hover a little bit, but of course, don't be here. Just be here, look at her. Maybe she's gonna chunk this Janna like this and you can follow her up with Ghost. Uh, if not, you just stay here. You you let them like go on, 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 on uh, Lulu. And if they actually back off, you go back to the wave. But the concept is don't ignore your Lulu mm -hmm. for, for some farm, because realistically speaking, this can be a kill. The fight is pretty close to you, so you shouldn't really look to ignore the fight for some farm yes if the fight was going on the river you could have just freeze here or just push but the fight mm -hmm. is fighting the fight is not really happening here the fight is happening yeah, yeah, right close, here so you yeah. can hover what you did is very good you didn't push because if you push Vayne can come back but you should be here and you should try to go like this you should be right now right here yeah, you should be prepared yeah yeah and then here when they come boop you go back to the wave so you should basically have a solution that if lulu is fighting hard and vi is coming you're there Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work out, you're there, but you don't die. Like, no matter what happens there, you have to be prepared. So yeah, you have okay. to play it as in, okay, if Lulu is fighting, I'm there, so I'm going to be here. If Lulu is almost dead and nothing is going to go on and they back off on the lane, it's fine. I don't lose the freeze. Like, you don't want to take any decision that is going to be full fight, give up the wave, or full wave, give up the fight. You want to be in the middle. You have to be here. You basically want to be in the middle of both decisions, both wave and fight, until you see something better. Like if Vayne gets really low, then you can give up the wave. But yeah, if okay. Lulu gets really low and it's over, then you can go on the wave. So you don't make any commit decision. Commit as in, I go full farm, I ignore them, or I go full fight, I ignore my farm. You don't make any decision unless you know that it's going to work. So here you can hover a bit and then... If nothing is happening, you go back to bot. If something is happening and she's still fighting, you go you go to help her. But the concept is don't be too worried about losing farm farm. So this is good. This is all good. You didn't lose any farm, but you were in the middle of the play. This is fine. Yep. And you're still around. This is good. You been missed a lot of XP. And now she's since they are fighting, you should be there. Yeah. Because it's a big right. fight. So now you can lose like two minutes. Like now, since they're fighting hard, I would move. I would be here. Because it's a big fight. And you should be where? You shouldn't really go like this. You should yeah, go I should like go this. Up. I should go up. I should go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Because you want to just kill the Mordekaiser and back off. You don't want to go in vain. This is greedy. Now you're losing the wave. True. But the decision making that we said we want to do is not like go in right here, full fight or stay here right here. No, it's in the middle decision making. Same mm -hmm. thing for the last fight. If you're not sure what to do, 
do middle decision. If you're not sure here, wait, should I farm or should I fight? Just stay here, middle decision, and then if they need your help and they are low, of course, give up a bit of farm, go. If just go. Lulu, yeah. Lulu is already dead, then no problem, just go to bot. So make the middle decision, wait until something good is happening, and then commit for the good decision after the play looks obvious. So we learned about the mid decision, as in, not you're not really committing any decision. It's just you're doing something in the middle. Okay, good. That was terrible. <laughs> and then here we lie. just die, and it's also like freeze. Yeah, that was terrible. It's not uh, not good. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen here. So you stay. You wanted to recall here. Okay, let's take a look at this. So. Mordecai said was mid lane. You are two versus two. Vayne is very very strong right here. Let's see how we're gonna play here. So. You W, that is fine. I think you could have just W and then Q. QE? Yeah, I should Q, I should Q, yeah. QE, yeah. And she's, I think she's dead with uh, what items you have. Because she's super squishy. And then let's see what you're gonna do here. Beautiful E. Good. And then here you do. So here to look at your ulti here. What I would do is that right here, I wouldn't ulti now. I would let her to actually throw the, 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 the auto attack. And when the auto attack yeah. is right here, she's gonna tumble I, here. I, I insta word. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, she's gonna panic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I know, but I miss the timing. Like, yes. I, 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 Usually I do was this? expecting, yeah, I, I, I was just expecting she will just uh, basic me, so I err, but I miss the timing. So here, tell me more about this play, you remember? Yeah, uh, I was thinking that it should push to me, so there is no, no need to just risk. True, true. But what, what's the risk right now? Mm. Yeah, okay. Because it's Irelia, Irelia it's right? Go back. Yeah, yeah. But Irelia, Irelia goes Irelia back. Go back. And Mordecai said he's also not, uh, he was mid lane like 10 seconds ago. So right now, yeah. the, the concept is like this. If the wave is coming into you and it's too greedy to push, you should always recall. Never greed. But if you know where is the jungle, if you know that mid lane is here, and you're able to push because you have good items and you can actually get the base with more money you should always prefer to get more money yeah. ruler guma yushi deft any pro player they always prefer to get more money yes you have a freeze you can deny vein it doesn't matter you want to get more money mm -hmm. because That's even if, if you get 200 and vein loses 200 i would prefer you getting 400 and she gets a bit more as well yeah but you get 400 you are more ahead so it's more about you. So this was the, the, the play here. So wave management. Management too scared to push the wave when wave is coming into you and you have enough push power to do it. Okay. Go 13.30. Let's see what is this. Let's see what is this. 13.30. Okay, let's see. So you recall, you come back to the lane. You recall right here for the Kraken Slayer. That is very good recall that you do. Uh, you you get stopped here. You ulti instantly. No, I, I ult her E. That's good. <clears throat> you kill this guy, and then here you are like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna recall, right? What yeah. did I tell you here? Oh wait, wait a second. So why yeah, did you did you, you recall? You tell here? me to go. You because I was like low HP. Okay. I have money for item. True. And and yeah, so we just farm all fucking way. <laughs> True. That's that's solo queue. That's that is what what solo queue. Uh, um, exactly. Me. Exactly. But then what after pushing the wave? Let's say this is happening. But what after mm -hmm. pushing the wave? You can grief for plates, I think. True. We'll go for plates because it's, it's three people, four people on both lines, so you can do it. So right here, yeah. you can just go because it's free to get the wave as well. You can ping on my way, on my way, so you get the the farm. Be careful with the push. Ping because this will mean Yasu will probably uh, yeah, win. Yeah, I, I misclicked it. <laughs> yeah, I be careful with this. Because, uh, like, look at the the, uh, the Lulu. She she was trying to help. This is good. Like, now you want to stay with them. Imagine if you just recall here. Imagine if you just recall here. This root was really good. Look at this. Boop, root. Nice. That yeah. root was really good because now Lulu. Let's see if Lulu dies. Lulu probably dies there. Yeah, let's yeah, see. she does. But that root actually did good. And look at your call as well here. Imagine you don't stay. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's very important to stay. This is why you're probably not doing damage. Is because you're a bit too scared to commit to the fights. You're farming a little bit too much, and you're too scared to get waves. And then yeah, here you, so. you do this, and this is good. I mean, you die, but I mean, Arelia dies as well. Okay, it took a little bit. I, it, 
can you little go back like yes. when the Morda just struck? I should go not because I was running up, not down. Like yes. when you um, one more time back. Oh yeah, no. Look, I should be going to the bushes. I should be yes. going to the bushes. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's yes. my bad also. Yes. Okay. I guess this is the play. Okay. And we have 15, 20. Let's see. So Lula is fighting. We try to go on them. Also very, very close here. And then here. Okay, let's take a look at this. So this play right here. We don't know where is Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser is mid lane. He's pushing. Wave is coming into you. You ping that you want to get the wave. That's very, very good. Of course, today we also learned that you have to pay attention to the waves. Like right now, for example, why did I tell you to go mid? Because the wave. Yeah. Because the wave, what wave here? Uh, the the wave was uh, pushing to them. Like I need to just fix it. True, but what about your bot wave? Ah, <laughs> my bot bot wave is going to push to them. I think. Exactly. So then you're not gonna get any farm here, really, realistically speaking. Yep. So you can go mid. We rotate to mid. We just get mid. Poop poop poop. Very yeah, simple. Get, so then we go bot. To... Yeah. That is very good. Yeah. Then when you rotate exactly. here, we rotate, you try to, like, what are you trying to do here with the wave? Mm. I, fish, I think I was going to push it. Okay, and what's the reason? Uh, because they will... Mm, I don't remember. But looking at it right now, what do you think is the better play here? Uh, I could just hold wave and just slow push, I think. Maybe. What, what is the advantage of fast pushing though? Mm, that I am not. Hmm. If I f fast push this, yes. I can recall. Well, because... do you want to recall with 400 gold or like 500? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's bad, but I am. Yeah. So, hmm. other advantages is like you can go for a plate or you can go on the river. But, I mean, now there are no plates. Plus, what's the disadvantage if you try to touch the tower here? Mm, this, mm, like if you try to go to the tower, where is the enemy jungle? No, uh, he was mid, I think. He was we mid, so like right now we he, he might just looking to go to bot. So here, yeah. what is the safest play here to do? We'll Let's see, after this. Wave. Yeah, just hold wave. Like right now... They're trying to kill, like Vayne is 1 HP. What should you do right no. now? Uh, hold. Not hold, pushing. hold. Because yeah, if Vayne is 1 HP, what is she going to do? She's going to recall. So then, after, like, what, what can she do if you push this hard? Just stay under tower. She can stay under the tower. Ships. Yeah, and, and he can farm. Just, and we are just risking uh, they being yeah. ganked by... Water. So now, you shouldn't push. You should hold it here. And if you know Vayne recall, then you should push. But now, look at this farm. Free farm for Vayne. Thank you. Look at the Vayne. She's safe. And now, it was, also, if Mordekaiser was crazy, he could have been around. So yeah. be careful here with the autopilot pushing. And then now, I would push like a maniac. Because I don't see Vayne. She records. I just push, 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 push. If she stays, I would just zone. So you shouldn't really look to make a decision of pushing or not pushing without like a purpose. Like the purpose here was like, Vayne, I want to keep her in lane. If she records, I push. But I only want to commit pushing after she records. After I know she recalled. Yeah, okay. okay Very okay. important. Okay, and then here we had 17.00. Let's see, this one I forgot what it was. Let's see. So, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, you are in the tower. Lulu is really low. Mordekaiser was top lane, so in terms of Mordekaiser, he, we're fine. Right now, you try to make something happen here. You try to E. Okay, then you take this, but Arelia was really coming here, so you just back off. This is good. Arelia is missing. We don't know where is Arelia. Good, good, good. You recall yeah, yeah. here, and then Arelia right now. Let's see. So I told you, let's stay, let's stay. What? Why did I tell you to stay? To get wave, because True. they push, I back, but, and I but will is, just. Isn't it? Isn't it greedy to like die against Arelia here? Mm. I, <laughs> I, in. In this game, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think I, I was thinking like, okay, yes, uh, Irelia will just come. Exactly. Q She'll me, Q Lulu, exactly. and the double I lost farm anyway. So, so here, here, 
you do definitely should look to recall. Let's see how we play this. So you should look to recall. Aurelia is missing. We don't know where she is. Let's see what's going to happen here. You're going to back off. We don't know where is Aurelia. You're going to back off. Maybe she's in the brushes already. You recall. And here, Aurelia doesn't see you. So remember that Aurelia right now, she doesn't know where you are. And since they are also very, very low, if you're a mid laner and you go for the roam, but all of a sudden when you're right here, the Zaya is going to go in fog of war for 10 seconds. What do you assume of Zaya? Uh, she, she just back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's exactly. Like, like... And then you can go you can go to, to, to the wave. So here yeah, yeah, I would stay in fog of war. Okay. I would go in fog of war, wait her to show mid lane, and then I would just look to get the wave. Just walk up. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So okay. here I wouldn't walk up yet. I would stay like right there. And then when I see her on mid lane, then I walk up. Like I wouldn't walk up mm -hmm. right there. Now I would walk up because I see her mid lane. Yeah, because she's... Yeah, yeah. And they can't dive you because Janna is too low. So this is like a mind game fake recall. So this is why we stayed. So all of these little small advantages that we got, like look at the farm advantage, for example. Like we stayed for three extra waves if you remember this wave, this this game. And yeah. the vein has 120, uh, 104 farm. So you're 24 farm ahead. Imagine if you didn't stay for these waves. You wouldn't be so ahead. And she has five kills. So as an AD carry, sometimes you can't predict you having kills. But you can have farm if you have good wave management. But you want to make sure you're not too scared and not too aggressive with the waves. Now you're too much onto the safe side. You're too scared. Mm -hmm. That is not good. That is not good. So we need to work on being a bit more, not I would say not aggressive, but just taking super small risk like this one was a small risk that I really like camps. But if you just stay there and you're going to see her mid lane, you can walk up. So you have to be, yeah, okay. you have to take a bit more waves if you know that it's relatively safe to stay. It doesn't have to be 100%, but if it's 70% safe, you're fine. Okay, okay. Okay, good. So, and from now on, you have to be very careful with when you're split pushing and when... You're staying with your teammates. You have an item and a half, so you just want to look to to play with them preferably. This is a great play. Let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, you push with them. And here you, you are like, hey, this play is bad. We should just back off. And what did I tell you here if they all push? Stay, stay, because they yes. all stay. Yes, they will all stay. So if they die, at least you can get a kill or a double because you're there and you have damage. So if three people stay... And you recall, you're ignoring them. This playstyle is a bit dangerous because your teammates are going to die. And at least if you're there, you can just get a kill in return. Mm -hmm. Then you recall. And then here you are like, let's see. Let's see what we did here. So we have the mistake of 23 minutes. Okay, so we were arguing with what to build. And here you are like, hey, I just want to look to go to mid lane. Good, because you want to stay around your team. They are actually fighting right there. So you go to mid. And here... You have two options. Move there without pushing. Push mid and then move. Or just push and then push again. Since they are pretty fa far right here, you can't just move like this. You can't just move to them. So you push the wave. You push the wave. And after you push the wave, we it's better to actually push the tower. But why is it better here? Because they are... Uh, they are uh, still far from me. Yes. The tower is like 10% HP, so... Exactly, exactly. They are super far from you and you're not going to get it in time. And also tower is is, is uh, low. So right here, why did I tell you to just push more? Why are you able to push more here? Because I have items and I have so much damage and they okay. are still fucking fighting. They are fighting <laughs> as five people on yeah. top lane, so there is no reason yeah, to back yeah, off yeah. here. So you see, you're too... Too much 100% safe. You always want to be 100% safe. If you're 95% mm -hmm. safe, you're scared. You're like, oh shit, but 5% risk, I die. Yeah, true, but as an AD carry, as long as you get 70% uh, guaranteed you don't die and 30% risk, it's still fine. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing is that you're only taking 95% guaranteed and 100% yeah, guaranteed. That's, right. that's a bit too much. That's a bit, You're too safe, if I can say that. Okay, 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 good. And let's see what you're gonna do right now. So, you're gonna push, you're gonna try to take the tower. You did two towers, one camp, not bad. Not bad. That was good, that's good, that's good. Then you try to get the, the Drake, the Drake was a bit hyped, and then you try to go for the Aurelia. The flash was a bit too much here. Overall, you played it very, very well, other than the flash. And yeah, this flash. <laughs> okay, yeah. Here I told you to recall because you have so much gold. And here you said, oh shit, I should, I should go top, right? What did I tell you here? 
go mid because they are they are like maybe fighting or they are now fighting exactly exactly so be very very careful if you have a big wave on top lane and you have an item and they're fighting mid you can go top yeah but if you i have, have three items I you have three items right play now play more like with my teammates yes 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 with especially because apes. Especially because if Gwen wants to, she can just go top lane and she has TP and you can just go to mid. So avoid yep. for as much as possible ignoring like this your teammates. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so here we were scared. Okay, and then uh, uh, you can go, Do you would you like to play one more game today? Yeah, 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 we, we can do one more. Sounds good. So we can do two hours today, right? Yeah. Oh, hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Can you repeat? Because I was talking with my girlfriend. Yes, you can go in queue. I, I will, let's analyze the last play right here. Because yeah. so we don't want to waste too much time. So you can go yeah. in queue and you can queue. I'll go in queue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking you was talking about queue on Zaya. No, 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 like no, no, no. I, so I right queue, here, yeah. let's take a look here. So yep. here you said, here you said. I should go top and I should get the wave. Why did I tell you here? Mm. Or you should go bot. Here you wanted to go bot. Why did, why did I tell you here? You tell me to stay, I think. True, but why? Mm, because Gwen is gonna take bot tower. True, I and think. if you if you go bot and Vi is going mid, Gwen is going mid, Arelia is gonna be there maybe with TP or without TP, but you are more important than Arelia in team fights. So you can't stack yourself on the sideline. Mm -hmm. Yes, if four people are pushing mid from your team and Arelia is pushing here, of course you move there because you're forced to. But not now. Mm -hmm. Now you avoid going to split push unless you're absolutely forced to. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Very, very, very important. So uh, here you just stay mid. I feel I too much looking at okay someone is on middle so I will just go other lane and I see. get my far because yes. you know I need to I get some XP. XP more yes I yeah, know I know I know yeah. you have the pattern true but if you have four items four XP is not like that important and then here yeah, yeah. you have to recall but why do you have to recall in this specific case uh, because Kyle is pushing yes and, and no one is defending for no one is defending so Yasuo is not planning to go so you have to go in this case you're forced but unless you're forced, you should avoid going on sideline if possible. For those of you who are struggling winning and climbing a solo queue but are serious about getting better, I also do coaching for players that want to improve and get their gameplay to the next level. Coaching can't make you better if you just play normals and arms and don't like playing ranked or you don't care about improving, you just play for fun or let's say you just play the game for like 3 hours, maybe 4 hours per week and that's about it, coaching doesn't help you. Coaching can help you if you feel hard stuck, if you struggle carrying games, if you want to stop wasting time autopiloting and not learning anything, if you run into a circle for a long time, if you want to find out the mistakes that hold you back, or simply maybe you have problems with the way you manage, maybe you feel lost throughout the mid game, maybe you struggle with the decision making, macro, and you just want to learn how to do it properly from a professional coach. Or let's say you have difficulties checking the enemy jungle and you die a lot to ganks. Or simply maybe you just want to learn how to carry one versus nine so you can actually climb and stop really wasting time. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and book your own coaching now and start improving instantly. I'll see you in the session.